Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Behind me is a 2021 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. Now this is a comfort package. So this is gonna have some other amenities to it. Uh, we'll walk you through what those are as we get into this trailer and start going through option by option for you. Uh, the stock combos, they have become so popular over the last few years just because of the versatility of them. You can haul horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul toys, you can do a lot of different things. And this trailer here is a prime example of that when we, when we walk you through the comfort package part of it. Now, before we get started on this, this one is a used trailer. So, this is, I'm, if, if you watch our videos, I'm not a fan of like new. It is not a new trailer, it is a used trailer. But this is a very lightly used trailer. I'll say that. And we'll walk you through, I'll show you maybe a couple little dings or dents that are on this trailer. So very, very good shape as far as that's concerned. Now on Cimarron's, they don't offer a transferable warranty. Uh, but on this one here, we were able to kind of visit with the manufacturer a little bit and get you the warranty from its original purchase date. So we'll be able to pass some of that along to you. But when we're looking at these used trailers, we're going to put them through our shop. Even though this is a very lightly used, it is a 21, we still want to put it through the shop, do what we always do to our used trailers. We, uh, we recondition every single one of them. First thing we do is we realign them. Uh, they are no different than passenger vehicles. You can knock them out of alignment, whether it's, you know, we never want to, but you can curb a trailer, potholes, rough roads, things like that can happen and can cause bad tire wear and then can cause blowouts, flat tires, tearing up fenders, those type of issues. So we realign it, everything safety is automatic on them. You know, we'll check brakes, we'll check bearings, lights, breakaway battery, all of those items. But then we go through the trailer as well. You know, is there a divider that needs to be adjusted? Is there lights out? Is it those little items we wanna go through and get them as new a condition and, and as they're working properly for you to go enjoy it as soon as you make the purchase of the trailer. Now, let's jump into this trailer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing first because I'll show you how this trailer lays out so it's 24 foot on the floor we're the standard 610 wide so we have no wheel wells on the inside and then it's 71 tall those are the standard dimensions on a Cimarron and in this case a 24 foot combo now we're dealing with a seven foot short wall as far as this front kind of dressing room so then we have that four foot offset so if we look at the the footprint of the stall area we're a 17 foot long wall with a 13 foot short wall as far as in the stall area. Now, just to kind of put that in perspective on what we're looking at for size, that is very close to the size of our four horse goosenecks. Now those are gonna be six inches longer than this stall area that we're gonna look at here, but we also are dealing with the divider shifted towards the back of the trailer, and we always like to add a little bit of length in that back stall so we can Go ahead and open those dividers completely up and then shut our rear doors. So this is, in my opinion, very, you know, equivalent to a four horse gooseneck as far as this size and the footprint of it. Let's take a look at it because there's some things that were added on, some things that are standard. Uh, one of the very first things, if we look underneath the gooseneck here, I mean, you have your manual hand crank jack. You know, very standard as far as that's concerned. We have a spare lo uh, tire located left of it. You get that aluminum wheel. You will notice up above there though, to the right hand side of the jack, you're gonna have a battery box as far as a tray and then that 12 volt battery. So you do have some 12 volt power on this trailer itself. Now, if you wanted to upgrade, maybe put a hydraulic jack on there. You already have the battery side of it you know, we would have to just remove the manual, put a new one on there. Now on that, you do have to relocate the spare tire. We typically just shift it up higher because it, we need that a little bit extra width because the, the size of those high electric over hydraulic jacks, they just eat into it a little bit too much where we actually have to raise that and relocate that spare tire. But very simple to do our parts and service department can help you out with that aspect of it. Now, we'll get into the front dressing room here in a second, but on the back side of it and on the tail end of it, we have this closet tack, which is awesome because now in this instance here, these are solid walls. You know, we don't have to when we get into that other side of it, that comfort package part of it. You know, we're not having to smell saddles, tack, pads, blankets, whatever you're traveling with. 
completely sealed off, carpeted walls all the way around, even on the door. So we're not gonna have any tack rubbing against, you know, aluminum sheeting as far as that's concerned. It also deadens a lot of that noise. But as you can see, you got a four tier saddle rack. Now those are adjustable, so we can shift them up and down if you'd like. There's hooks on the front and back side of it. Now there's no window in this door, so if you'll notice up top there, there is a two-way roof vent. So if you need to air that out a little bit, you can do that. Obviously you need to be a little bit uh, aware of it. You know, if you are dealing with rain, something like that, you want it closed because then basically, you know, you've got the ability for that moisture to come straight down on your saddle. So that's more of just kind of an airing it out type of scenario in there. It's got an LED light right above the door. So you have some light coverage in there. And then when we get to this door itself, four tier blanket pole rack on a gas shock so it swings in and out very easy to use and then a brush tray on the door for our smaller miscellaneous items our brushes fly sprays any of that type of items there but again real simple to use very functional there's still quite a bit of floor space there so you can throw some additional items in there and then the bonus is obviously you can lock it so it's all sealed up as far as that's concerned but again now you don't have to smell those saddles pads, anything like that in that front dressing room that we'll show you here in a few minutes. We have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, the aluminum wheels, 16 inch, eight lugs, and then these are 10 ply tires. They're the E-rated tires on this one. They're also nitrogen filled. Now, on new Cimarron's, they offer a one year, no questions asked warranty on the wheels and tires. Uh, in this instance here, because of the age of this trailer, that has passed. But again, we go ahead and we align these trailers. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we actually take a snapshot of what it looked like when we put it on the alignment machine and then when we're done with it and we keep that on records so we can see what adjustments were made, how it came in and how it went out of here as well. Now, you have two rows of plexiglass. You have those two upper air gaps that plexiglass slides right in and out. That track is built on every single Cimarron. So even if you see a, a Cimarron without that plexiglass in there, that can be added to the trailer very easily because they build that track in there. And then up above there, you see the 16 inch awning light shoots down and out. It's not a pedestal light that kind of sticks up and protrudes off the trailer. You get a lot, a lot of light coverage. Now there's a 16 inch on this side here. Uh, you've got your three tie rings. More tie rings can be added. You know, as long as we have a post, you can go ahead and add additional if you'd like to. But real good light coverage over here. And again, really close to the uh, closet tack setup we have right there. <clears throat> again, when we get to the stall area, I mean, again, I feel like this is very, very close to the size of a, a four horse. You can easily get four horses on here, in my opinion. This first stall, because we're dealing with the slant wall, we go ahead and do the same to the center cut gate. So it matches the angles, but it's six, six in this first stall here. And when we're looking at our horse trailers, our slant loads, that would be equivalent your, to your first and second stall as far as that size. You've got that escape door up front there. So if you wanna use this for additional storage, any type of items like that, you can still access it into the stall area. Again, the center cut gate, as you can see, it's stored out of the way right now, but we can slide it over, lock it into place with the paddle latch. So it's easy, it slams. We don't have the metal to metal contact because of the heavy UHMW plastic paddle latch. That creates a lot of noise in these. But as you can see, this is a versatile trailer from the standpoint of if you're wanting to haul, again, horses, livestock, or potentially even toys as well. And one thing that they do is this interior tie rail itself. It's between the two air gaps, but obviously if we're dealing with plexiglass, we can't tie around these actual upright posts. So you've got the ability to go ahead and tie where you want. It goes down the whole length of the trailer over here on driver's side. So you've got the ability to basically tie where you want as far as that's concerned. Your all aluminum construction on these Cimarron's you're dealing with the best floor in the market. So it's a 12 inch deck, it's extruded, it's double locking, so it's a tongue and groove high and low with four inch centers. 
So wherever you have a horse standing, uh, if you got cattle in here, anything like that, wherever they're standing, they're standing on a support beam because those centers are four inches apart. Now, with that being said, you know, if you want to kind of tell quality build of an all aluminum trailer, in my opinion, just look underneath there. As you see those centers start spacing apart, typically the trailer's price point is lower as well. But what will happen is over time, once you start spreading centers out, you've got the ability to have those kind of uh, waves, dips in the floor where then urine can kind of collect, start corroding that floor a little bit more. But this is where the quality of the Cimarron floor comes into play. Now, you've got to pull these mats, you've got to power wash it out, you've got to maintain these trailers just like any other aluminum trailer out there. It is extremely important. If you take care of these trailers, they'll take care of you and last forever. If you neglect them, you're going to have issues and a lot of repairs as well. But when you have these mats out, power wash it, let it completely dry, go get you some baking soda and sprinkle it down. Baking soda will counteract the acidity of urine and then you put your mats back in there. It'll just help one extra little step giving you a little bit more longevity to this trailer itself. One of the other things that's standard on Cimarron's is this roof. You know, those are, we talk a lot about the floor, a lot about the roof, because those are two very key uh, components to these Cimarron's. It's a half inch thick, it's a honeycomb reinforced R3 thermal value. So this is so important because it will keep the stallery about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. It is a major temperature difference between a Cimarron and an all aluminum trailer, especially in the summer months. You can definitely tell the difference when you step into the stall area lot more comfortable. The other thing is it's really strong. I can walk on these roofs. It will not dent them. Uh, it takes substantial hail. We see that a lot with uh, all aluminum trailers uh, with aluminum roofs on them. You know, we get a hailstorm here in Colorado and you get those, they're just ugly little dings, those little bubbles in the roof when you look at them from that hail actually hitting them. Now, this customer also went in and added these stall fans. So because they were add-ons, uh, there's four actual switches to the back of this trailer, but those are for our interior lights and our load lights. So these aren't actually switched into the switches on the back of the trailer. So you just gotta step into the stall area and go ahead and turn them on. But you've got two of those, one for each stall. Again, a little bit of air movement. I tell everybody, you know, think about on a real hot day where it's hot and there's no wind, it's miserable but a little bit of a breeze kicks up and it makes life a little bit better. And that's what we're dealing with with these stall fans as well. That's something else our parts and service department can add on to trailers for you if you'd like. For instance, if you wanted a rear ramp on this trailer, you wanted a hay rack, any of those little things like that, you know, again, they can help you out with that. So you have this rear gate. You also have a slider on it. So if you are button up against maybe an alleyway or just need to hop in and not open up the full gate, you've got the capabil capability to do that. There's those four switch I was, switches I was telling you about. So they're individual. So we have one on driver's side, one on passenger side, one at the rear, and then the stall lights inside. So they're all individual. So you can turn off, isolate which lights you want on or off at any point on this trailer from right there. Now, as we get over here to driver's side, again, there's that plexiglass. So you've got the, again, the ability to take those in and out. Uh, if you watch <laughs> our videos, and if you've ever seen any of my videos that I talk about this plexiglass, this is the one of the best tips that I can give to anyone out there when you're dealing with plexiglass. Maybe even it's not a Cimarron, but what you do is you take out your driver's side upper, and then you have a roll of tape. I prefer like a masking or painter's tape. It's not gonna leave that real sticky residue and you can write on it. Take your Sharpie and write, driver side upper. Take out your lower, driver side lower. Do the same on the passenger side. Because when you go to put these pieces back in, it will save a lot of headache, a lot of bad words, and a lot of time as well. Uh, I had to do a used trailer. It took me about a, almost a half hour. It was miserable. And it was only like a little 20 foot combo. So it just goes to show if you just kind of organize it, uh, store them that way, it makes life a lot easier. In fact, if you look inside this escape door 
right up there at the front of the partition wall up high is the actual storage tray. So again, you can take these pieces out, put them together in, in kind of the order you want and, and marking them how they're gonna go back into this trailer. And then you can just store them up there out of the way as, uh, you know, again, it just keeps them from bouncing around. Potential of breaking them, honestly, is the big thing. Uh, you know, it's not an actual uh, cheap option to do. It's actually a little bit surprising on the cost of it, but obviously they have to be cut just right, certain lengths, certain heights on them as well. As you can see in the escape door, we've got a, a narrow air gap up high and then a normal one, same at the back. So when you go ahead, it's an investment, just go ahead and protect it by doing those little steps as far as that's concerned. I mentioned that there's a driver's side light. This one's an eight inch. So on the other side, we had the 16 kind of back there in the stall area. This one's an eight inch right here. If you wanted more light coverage back here, like we saw on the other side of that trailer, you, our uh, parts and service department could help you out there as well. So let's take a look at this. This is the comfort package. This is where this comes into play. So Cimarron started offering this. Basically what you get is you get line and insulated walls. As you can see the carpet on the walls as well. We're dealing with an insulated roof that's standard on every single Cimarron, so we don't really need to do anything there. But they added the mattress up here, the customer did. But what you get is you get this 30 amp breaker package. They went ahead and upgraded to a converter that's gonna basically charge that battery. So when we're plugged into Sure Power, the 30 amp power, it's actually gonna charge that 12 volt as well. But you can get some of these amenities. You get the air conditioner, you get the power package, the line and insulate, and then you get this fold down sofa. So this here is a jackknife style. It's just like the ones that we put in our living quarters. You can go ahead and just lay it down and then you've got some additional sleeping area in this. But as you're out and about, you know, you can come in here, turn the air conditioner on, sit down. You've got some things that you can do to these. One of this, on this one here, this was definitely an upgrade and an option that they put in it, but this is a closet. I'll open it up and step out of the way. It's got a light in there, a couple shelves. This lower shelf right here is actually gonna have a clothes bar underneath there as well. So again, that's a great place to just store your clothes, store your items as you're traveling, keeping things kind of nice and neat and secure. You also notice that there's an outlet down low. You know, if you wanted to and wanted to travel with maybe a smaller, you know, portable type refrigerator, you know, you could just plug that in, set that in there. You know, a microwave, those type of items you can do to this trailer. Again, the comfort package is really cool because it's a very simple and can be done at the factory. So it's not like we've got to send it to a conversion company that's going to have to do all of these things to it. Um, that actually speeds up the, the actual manufacturing process as well and kind of the timeline on which you can get this trailer. And they build this not just in the stock combo. If you want a slant load, two horse, three horse, four horse, five horse, I mean, we can do this comfort package on about anything, but it's a really cool setup. As you can see, there's some additional storage underneath that couch. Uh, we've seen them to where you actually build a box. There could be some uh, actual doors on there. I've seen it to where there's an access door on the outside. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do to these if you're custom building one. But boy, I really like the closet tack. I like that, that uh, closet that they built in there for your clothes and those smaller items. Um, and again, you know, you've got, if you're just kind of maybe a weekend warrior or going for a night or two type of a scenario, you've got that ability to go ahead, have an air conditioner to keep cool, line and insulate to keep you you know, warm, you do a little portable heater type of a scenario. Obviously you just need to make sure it's safe uh, to be able to plug in and run in those type of scenarios. Uh, but just a cool setup as far as that's concerned. Again, all of that on 24 foot on the floor. So you got the, again, my opinion, very simply can haul four head of horses. You've got a, a separate tack room and then a separate kind of finished off dressing room on this trailer. But give us a call. We could either build you something like this, or, you know, this is a, a possibility for you as well. 
Again, this is a 2021 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo with the comfort package. The stock number is 5U220808. Again, it is a used trailer. We do take trade-ins, we do buy trailers. That's how we end up with a lot of the used inventory around here is it's a trade when they're when we have something sitting here, we're building them something, or maybe they've got something, things have changed, they need to turn a trailer into some cash, we can go ahead and buy it. So give us a call, anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day.